Okay guys, so this little Trello board is the heart of the operation. I think no one did it on YouTube yet, so we will be the first one to publish the videos on how we made our own Forex arbitrage latency software. Latency arbitrage software, yes. What's up guys, it's Mike, the guy from Forex Trading, machine learning software engineer and welcome you to the series of videos when we will be making a forex latency arbitrage software that actually no one did it on youtube they're just bragging about they did it and they sell it for thousands of dollars but we are going to make it from scratch so let's start this journey basically what you can see right now is the trello board i use trello for tracking my work i got already one friend that will help me with this project so basically the idea of this system is to create a software that will feed two data sources basically we will get two data feeds one from the slow broker and the second one from the fast broker and when we will be getting prices constantly from those two brokers and some major news event will happen like for example non-farm payrolls we will get big spike and basically big volatility on the market during this event and during this event the fast broker will get the faster updates of the price than the slow broker so basically when we will see the big spike on the fast broker we will make a trade in that direction on the slow broker and exit the trade when those prices will merge together so this is pretty much the idea but we cannot do it manually so that's why we need to make a software because that kind of strategy is kind of high frequency strategy style so basically all of those trades will last between fraction of a second to one two seconds so this is the idea when it comes to technology i decided to use the c sharp because for the latency arbitrage software as the latency word says we need big latency and c -sharp is much more faster than the Python. Okay, so first thing for me to start this project was actually to make some kind of WinForm chart that is constantly updating. So, so I found a few tutorials on the internet and I managed to create this chart. Basically, this chart shows you only the CPU usage, but in real time, so it's constantly updating. So when I had this base chart, then I had to create a module that will import the prices for me. Basically, I started from the slow broker and I decided to use the MetaTrader 4 connection because most of those Forex brokers out there are using the MetaTrader 4. So the best thing would be actually to connect to the MetaTrader 4 console, terminal or maybe the servers directly and feed the prices to our software and basically manipulate the whole MetaTrader 4 account from our software. And I think MetaTrader 4 is not too fast because we got already MetaTrader 5, which is faster, and we got also Pix protocol and stuff like this. So MetaTrader 4 will be our slow feed. So yeah, I spent a few months on making the connection, but finally I managed to do this. And then the next step was to actually put all of those data that we got from MetaTrader into the chart and it looks like this. So as you can see we got chart that is constantly updating with new prices from MetaTrader 4 broker and I will not tell you which broker it is but you can connect any MetaTrader 4 broker to this system. And I also made a small chart to calculate the spread. So the next thing was to create a module that will open and close trade for us. So for that one, I created this button and when you click on it, as you can see, uh, it's opening the trades. So yeah, this is where the project is currently now. The next thing would be to also create the fast data feed leg. Uh, for that one, I was thinking to use the fix API. And then, and then when we got our software, it will be also nice to, to create some kind of server for task use. I was thinking to use RabbitMQ for this and also DB to store all of the price updates that we get from those two brokers. And InfluxDB, I think it will be good for this problem. So yeah, that's it where is the project right now. So if you want to get constantly updated about this project, just hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you will get new updates from me about this project real time. That's it for now and see you with the new update.